In this video, we'll look at whether K3PO4, that's potassium phosphate, is soluble or insoluble in water. And there's three ways we can do that. First, we could have memorized the solubility rules. So as we look at the solubility rules, this is a brief set of the solubility rules. We have group one elements, potassium, that's in group one. So potassium, when it forms the bond with the PO4, we're going to have a compound that is soluble. So according to our solubility rules, K3PO4, that's soluble in water. We could also use a solubility chart. So as we go down our list, here's the positive ions. We find potassium, K+, plus, and then across the top, the negative ions, the anions, we have phosphate, PO4, 3 minus. So we're going to go over and down, and we have that S. That means that potassium phosphate will be soluble in water. When you put it in water, it'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. You'll end up with potassium ions, three potassium ions, and then the phosphate ion. And they're going to be aqueous, dissolved in water. So according to our table, potassium phosphate is soluble in water as well. One last way we could do this, we could get some potassium phosphate, put it in water, and see if it dissolves. We would expect, based on the rules, based on our table here, that it would dissolve in water. So in answer to our question, K3PO4 is soluble in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.